All right, Ronan MMA, welcome back to the channel. Now, over the weekend at UFC Fight Night, Cannoneer vs. Mavov, we saw, in my opinion, one of the worst stoppages in recent memory. And I want to go on a little bit of a rant about early stoppages because they drive me nuts and I think that they are completely and totally harmful to the sport. Okay, so in the main event of this fight night, Jared Cannonier versus Nasruddin Mavov. Nasruddin Mavov in round number four lands a picture perfect counter right hand. It was beautiful, and I'm not going to take that away from him. Perfect placement, all the rest of it. Has Cannonier on skates. Okay, Cannonier takes off across the cage like Alistair over him in an attempt to, whether you like it or not, intelligently defend himself. Okay, because now Nasruddin Mavov has to track him down, buying Cannonier at the very least a few seconds. Another flurry ensues. Cannoneer eats a couple shots, but he is still blocking. He is still moving his feet. He's still trying to get away, still intelligently defending himself. Takes off once again, right? Nasruddin Mavov goes and tracks him down again. During this sequence, Jared Cannoneer actually slips a punch and throws a counter right hook, a big one at that, okay? After that, takes a little bit of a stumble. Jason Herzog calls the fight off for whatever reason, right? And then just the week prior at UFC 302, we had Herb Dean put a stop to a fight because he didn't want to see someone's arm get broken, right? Because Michael Oleg Jacek's arm did not break. It didn't. He's gotten x-rays. There's no broken bones. He says it feels perfectly fine, but he's waiting for the MRI just to make sure. And he wants to turn around in a few months because he doesn't like the way that fight ended. And because Herb Dean just took half of his paycheck, much like Jason Herzog did to Jared Cannonier, ripped it up and tossed it in the garbage. Okay, And then we have the unbelievable amount of inconsistencies when we're talking about fouls and stuff like that, which in my opinion is an inherent contradiction when people online want to justify these stoppages or even referees themselves want to justify these stoppages by saying, well, we're looking out for the fighter's best interest. We need to make sure that they're not too tough for their own good and they don't damage their careers long term. Okay, Herzog, I didn't realize you were a manager. Herb Dean, I didn't realize you were a manager. Your job is not to be the hero of the situation. Your job is not to be that fighter's manager and make sure that he has longevity. That's, that's just not it. Okay, you do not get to decide that for another grown man. Now, as I said, the inherent contradiction here is that you have Jason Herzog in that very same fight, okay? Allowing Nasruddin Mavov to stick his fingers right in Cannoneer's face after warning him in the very first round and not do a single thing about it from that point on, okay? UFC 302, again, Randy Brown, I poked uh, Eliza Zalecki Dos Santos like three or four times in the eyes. Not a single point deduction, right? But when it comes to a stoppage, well, we need to look out for their health, right? Well, how about looking out for their eyes while you're at it? Do you know what I mean? Now, I understand that late stoppages are horrible and obviously like have can have long-term effects on an individual's health, right? And could potentially destroy a career uh, much earlier than it should be. But I almost feel like early stoppages are just as bad for the sport, especially when they happen as frequently as they do. Okay, so there's a couple reasons why I think they're so horrible. Now, for the consumer, they're horrible because we don't get any finality on a fight we don't get closure we have questions which is the beautiful thing about a finish like 99 percent of the time is that we it's final right that person won 100 percent. whereas oftentimes especially with the judges nowadays we don't get that when it comes to decisions right but when there's a finish again 99 percent of the times we know that person won 100%, right? Except when shit like this happens. And it seems to be a trend that, in my opinion, has upticked a bit ever since Herb Dean got called out for his stoppage. And I believe it was Francisco Trinaldo and Jai Herbert at UFC Fight Island 3 by Dan Hardy on live TV. I feel like referees are a lot quicker to pull the trigger because they do not want to be associated with late stoppages, okay? And I can understand that. But you cannot be stopping these fights this early because the part that I think is the most harmful to the sport is the career trajectory of not just the fighter that had the fight stopped, but the the recipient of the actual TKO, right? So Jared Cannonier in this instance loses half his paycheck, loses his top five spot, and is 40 years of age, right? At the end of his career, was still up there at the top, no longer, okay? Also, he's spoken about on multiple occasions how he doesn't make enough money because he doesn't get to fight enough. And again, you just took half his paycheck, threw it in the fucking garbage, right? But Nasruddin Mavov as well, dude, is affected by this 100%. Now, he does have a win, officially speaking. And, you know, who knows? Maybe in a year from now, people will forget all about this. And they'll just say, oh, he TKO Jared Cannonier, right? However, you have robbed Nasruddin Mavov of a potential, a highlight real KO, 
or something like that. And you have also now kind of delegitimized him in the eyes of all the fans that were watching that fight. Because any person with a brain can watch that stoppage and know that it was horrible and it shouldn't have been stopped. And Jared Cannonier was doing fine in that fight. They were pretty much fucking even at that point, right? But they didn't get a chance to find out who actually would have won. All you had to do was let Jared Cannonier hit the floor. Like we saw Dom Reyes do to Dustin Jacoby in the fright in the fight prior. Do you know what I mean? It drives me up the fucking wall and it needs to stop. Okay. And again, the argument I see the most in favor of these kinds of stoppages is what I said earlier, how the referee is there to look out for the fighter to, you know, needs the fighter's interest and best interest and all this shit. And they're supposed to look out for their health and they're supposed to do this and that and all this shit. No, the fuck they're not. Okay. There's a very clear, very simple guideline for when and why you were supposed to stop a fight. And it is when you are no longer intelligently defending yourself. Okay. And it is also when uh, you have either tapped verbally or physically tapped. That's it. Jared Cannonier did not meet that criteria even a little bit. Michael Oleg Jachuk did not meet that criteria a little bit, dude. You do not get to decide whether or not he lets his fucking arm break. You just don't, okay? This is what he signed up for. You do not get to decide whether or not Jared Cannonier hits the mat, okay? This is what he signed up for, and you fucked them. And you also, as I said, you robbed Nasruddin Imavov of a highlight reel knockout or finish or what have you. And any time that this happens, you've done that, right? You are hurting the fighter that you are declaring the winner every time you stop a fight early, right? This is a, we've seen this multiple times as well with Mark Goddard and Alex Pajeda, where you've got people who will say, oh, those aren't real finishes. They were too early and this and that and whatever when it comes to the Israel Adesanya finish and the Uri Prohaska finish. And fair enough, because they were called off early. So there are still questions that many people are going to have. But as I said, man, this is a this is a horrible practice for the sport. And I understand not wanting to allow a fighter to get brain damage, right? I completely and totally understand that or more brain damage than they would already be getting being a professional fighter, okay? But you're fucking up their careers. You're ruining the product for the consumer. You are delegitimizing them in the eyes of the fans. You're stealing highlight KOs from them. You're taking half of uh, the opponent's purse and throwing it in the garbage because you didn't feel comfortable about what was going on, okay? It's ridiculous. It needs to fucking stop. I feel horrible for Jared Cannonier. And even though I don't necessarily... I'm not a fan of Nasser Dinimovov, like personally speaking... I do feel bad for him as well because who knows he could have had a beautiful highlight real KO on his record after this but because of that stoppage he won't have one so anyways dude early stoppages fucking suck they're ruining the sport these refs need to get a hold of themselves and also stop contradicting themselves and pretending that they're doing it for the health of the fighters while not doing a fucking thing not taking a point for eye pokes or any of that shit okay it drives me up the wall and if you are a fan who makes these arguments about well they need to look out for their best uh, best interests i just lisp bro okay or you know they're too tough for their own good or whatever read the fucking rules please don't be an idiot like and subscribe i'd greatly appreciate it i'll see you at the next video Bye.